Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix Grand Theft Auto 5 Enhanced that is having an issue with crashing, it is not <coughs> not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck or loading screen and even many more issues so let's get started. So the first one is all about we need to go over here and check with each these steps. The first one we need to do a restart on your PC. So to do a restart, go over to the start icon. Now you can go to the power icon and do a restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to check. Next one, we need to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So if Steam is running in the background, if you go over here, you can see the Steam is in the background. And before that, right click over here and go to the properties, go to the installer file and make sure where the game is in start. Right now, the game is in start on F. So, Moving to the next step, so close the Steam, if it is in the background, close the Steam, go over here in the File Explorer, go to this PC, and we have to go over here at the top, navigate to New Volume F, now from here go to the Steam Library, Steam Apps, go to Common, now from here we have to go to Grand Theft Auto 5 Enhanced, open this, and now we have the application over here, and if you check at the top, this is the application, so we have to launch the game from here. So try launching the game from here, that will be working in most cases. So instead of launching it from the Steam, we need to try launching it from here itself. Next step, we need to run the game as an administrator and we need to run the game in the compatibility mode. So to run the game as an administrator, go over here in the .exe, right click over here and go to the show more options, properties, go over here in the compatibility. Make sure if run this program is unchecked, check this out and make sure that you have to run the first one on Windows 8 go for apply and you have to check if that is not working go to the windows 7 go for apply and go for ok and also make sure that you have to check run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok once everything is done just close this and we have to go back to the next step next step we need to delete the saved game file so to do this we just need to go over here in the file explorer go to the documents folder here we'll be having a separate folder named games i'm randomly creating one you'll be having a folder named my games in most cases so if you get into this folder you'll be having all the games on the steam those the game who played and saved the levels you'll be having a separate folder for grand theft auto 5 and handset so delete the respective folder keep in mind when you do this you'll be losing all the progressions but that is fine once afterwards just close this and we have to go back and we need to try launch the game Next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to go over here and over the game to window security. So just go over here, search for the control panel and we have to click on this one. And right now go over here, Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down and we need to navigate to Grand Theft Auto 5 and handset. So if it is already added, make sure the private and public both are marked. If the game is not added, just click on the change setting Go to allow another app, go to the browse, go to this PC, go to local disk F, go to Steam library, Steam amps, go to common. Now from here, go to Grand Theft Auto 5 and Hansard. So we have to scroll down over here and select this one and we need to open and we need to add it. So right now it is already added. So that is why I'm getting the error. Make sure it is added and you have to put a check on both the boxes over here and private and public. Once done, just close this and we have to move to the next step. Next step is all about we need to unplug all the USB devices. So if you're already connected with any external devices, for example, joystick or any other thing, you need to unplug it and you have to try launch the game. Once the game is launched, you have to connect it back. Next one, we need to perform a clean boot. So to do this, just go over here, search for system configuration and we need to click on this one. Right now, go to the services, go for disable all, go to hide all the Microsoft services Go for apply and go for ok and we have to do a restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to try launching the game. Make sure we need to disable the Steam overlay and we have to type these commands in the launch option. So the first one, we have to go over here, go over here, right click and go to the properties. Make sure if enable the Steam overlay while in game is actually turn it on, we have to turn this off and try launching the key. And also you can give commands in the launch option. So the first command is BX11. You can start with BX11. If BX11 is not working, you have you can start with BX12. If BX12 is not working, you can start with B3, B2, and that's all you have to try. Either you have to try with BX11, or we have to try with BX12, or we have to try with B3, B2. 
Once everything is removed, we just need to close this and we have to try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to close all the overlay and overclocking application. So just go over here in the start, right click and go to the task manager. Right now, you can see a lot of things running in the back now. So if you find anything like Discord, remove it. If you find anything like Riva, Tuner, MSC, Afterburner and all those things, everything can be removed from here. So right now, you can see these things running in the background, which is affecting the performance. So what I need to do is just go over here on the task and go forth in the task and remove the unwanted things. Once afterwards, just go back and then you can try launch the game. Next one, we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here, search for the graphics settings, and we have to click on this one. And if you don't find here, if the game is not added, just click on the browse, go over here into this PC, go to the local disk F, go over here in the Steam library, Steam amps, go to common. Now from here, you can see the Grand Theft Auto 5 is enhanced. Now from here, we need to add the game, just go for add. So right now it sees the specify app was already added, which means I have already added it. So we just need to scroll down and we need to check. So right now it is added. Just click on the option. Make sure that we have to, by default, this would be let Windows decide for the first time. We need to change this to the high performance and go for save. Once afterward, just close this and we have to go back and try and launch the game. Next one, we need to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here, search for view advanced system setting. Just click on this one. Go to the advanced tab, go to the settings, advanced once again, go for change. Make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk where the game is installed. In my case, it is F. Now go to the custom size. Initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size 3 times the total RAM. So we just need to go over here, search for the calculator. Now we have to go over here, type 16 GB multiplied with 1024. And you have to multiply it with 1.5. That brings you 245676. So copy this value and we have to paste it. Make sure type your RAM multiplied with 1024 and you have to multiply it with 3. That is 14 and 152 and copy this value and we have to paste it and go for set we have to go over here first go for ok and once everything is being done just close this and try launch the game next one we need to update the graphics card for both nvidia as well as to the amd and also you have to download and install microsoft azure c++ so if you are for the first time to the nvidia what i need to do is i just giving you link in the description which you don't have to worry what you need to do is just go over here to the NVIDIA, to the AMB and the Microsoft Visual C++. And if you're on the NVIDIA, just go over here. First, you need to select what is your GeForce. So for example, this is what it is. And you have to go over here in the GeForce RTX 15 series. You have to select us. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5090D. And you have to select Windows 11. And you have to go over here. Right now, go for find. And what happens is that we'll take you to a new page over here. And right now, as you can see, if Windows 11 over here, you can see, we can download this one. And if you're on the AMD, just go over here and go to the graphics, select everything from here. And we have to go to the 5000 series and we have to go over here and go to the submit. Right now, if the system is based on Windows 11 64 bit edition, download this one. And if the system is based on 64 bit edition, download this one. You can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C++ and if the system is x86, we can download this one and if the system is based on x64, we can download this one. So these are the steps and even you can try two more steps is very important. One among them is verify the game file and uninstall and reinstall the game. So to verify the game file, just go over here, right click and go to the properties, go to the installer file and just click on the verify integrity of game file which is going to cross check every single file of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed by this make sure what we need to do is we just to uninstall and reinstall the game go to manage and uninstall the game and we have to reinstalling it back but we should not be installing it back on the f but you have to try either g or you have to try c so these are the steps so these are the quick steps and I hope this quick video is helpful. Don't forget to subscribe when you need your support to monetize this channel. See you soon next video. Bye.